let's talk about the Jurassic Park theme and why it's so powerful. So we have this variation of the theme on the piano, and it brings to mind a sense of what it was like when we were a kid, you know, it's very innocent and intimate and, and just what we thought about, like any other normal kid, about dinosaurs being awed and fascinated by them. So just sort of that childlike wonder about it. And then the piece transforms into this, which denotes more of a sense of actually seeing the dinosaurs for the first time at Jurassic Park, right? So capturing that real life grandeur and just awesomeness about it. And I love these bells, they're a very John Williams sort of a style. It's like they accentuate or keep pulling that thread of childlike wonder even into this part of the music. And then there's a distinct change in the theme, I think, where it goes from talking more about the story of us and our ideas and childlike wonder about dinosaurs growing up to then talking about the dinosaurs themselves as just animals or these grand creatures of nature. And I love how, I mean, the theme is the same, but the notes are played longer, right? And it gives more a sense of reverence here. And I think it touches on that sense of reverence so much that it wouldn't be a miss in a scene like this. And all of a sudden it transforms here and it gives a sense of being more intimate, maybe being one-to-one -one with a dinosaur, you know, right in front of you and you're caressing it or something like that, like in a scene like this. And then I love how it goes back to the piano, but with elements of the strings that have, you know, accompanied us along this big journey. So it's almost as if we went to Jurassic Park, we saw the dinosaurs, and now we're a kid again with our dreams having been realized. Now I absolutely have to talk about this part because the first four notes are awesome. We have a fifth here. And what I mean by that is on a piano, these two notes are literally five notes apart. And that space between those two notes or the interval of a fifth is typically used to announce something grand, like a battle opening. <laughs> or a trumpet playing something reverential. Or in Hans Zimmer's score for Man of Steel. And what I love that the music does here is, okay, it announces something with that major fifth, but then it's like it grabs us by the shoulders and says, no, you didn't hear me right. Let me play you another fifth, but even higher. So it plays two major fifths, one after the other, and it really catches their attention, right? We're just primed to react that way to this type of an interval. It's almost like I'm looking at a brontosaurus and I keep trying to look up to see the top of it. And finally, by the time I almost reach the top, it's that part that goes, ba bum ba dum bum bum So it's like, okay, I get it. This is, this is big. I really have to notice this. <laughs> And then this part of the track brings to mind a sense of being in a helicopter and seeing the dinosaurs from afar and just being able to look at them with your own eyes but also being able to consider the concept of the fact that you're actually looking at dinosaurs, right, from that relaxed point of view. Or even on the flip side, I can imagine coming to the island and just considering the fact that I'm going to be seeing these animals. And then I love all these flutes doing these flourishes later on. It's just, again, it's a very John Williams sort of a style and it gives that sense of like something exciting happening. And then back to the piano part and I think it really closes the loop there where it's not just a story about dinosaurs but our relationship to them, our ideas about them and our experience with them which really starts at a young age learning about them and playing with all those dinosaur toys and that sort of stuff so all in all i love the soundtrack to this movie i love the main theme and all its variations i think it's a classic obviously and it'll be one of my favorite soundtracks of all time for the rest of my life i, I listen to it somewhat often so anyhow thank you for watching and let me know what you think in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing and if you really enjoyed this video please consider backing me on patreon where there are a lot of cool rewards like talking to me one-to-one -one about music or a lot of uh behind the scenes exclusive content and many more things so as always thank you for watching soundtrack reviews and I'll see you next time.